Though late to the true wireless earbuds party, legendary Japanese audio brand Den has taken the plunge with two new competitively priced models, the $159 Aussie 830NCW with active noise cancellation and the $99 Aussie 630W. We check out the noise cancelling model to see how Den's first try at true wireless compares to similarly priced earbuds from the leaders in this space. So, welcome to our new product review episode. If you are new in our channel then please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for notification of our new videos. It's pretty clear right from the get go that Den is making a play for the folks who like Apple's AirPods Pro. Placed side by side. The noise-canceling earbuds and AirPods Pro look very similar, especially given that the Denons come in white. There are some subtle differences, Denons stems are a bit thicker, and capped in an elegant chrome finish tip. And instead of Apple's pinch controls on the stems, Den uses the more common touch-based style that Apple uses on its first and second-gen AirPods. In the box, Den includes three sizes of silicone or tips to help you get a good seal and a short USB-C charging cable. The relatively large charging case has a flat bottom so it can stand on its own, and it features an elegant, angled lid that's easy to open and close. Unfortunately, getting the earbuds out of the case can be tricky. The super smooth plastic used on the outer shell makes it difficult to get a good grip, so you must master the technique of using your thumb as a lever to nudge each earbud out of its socket high enough so that you can grip them with your index finger. Unlike the AirPods Pro, the case doesn't support wireless charging. Then says the noise-canceling earbuds are Class 1 Bluetooth devices, which usually means they should get better range than non-Class 1 devices. But I found the range to be about average, 30 to 40 feet indoors and 50 to 60 feet outside. Within these distances, the connection was very stable and latency was never an issue while watching videos. Android users get Google Fast Bear, which makes the initial connection as easy as flipping open the case lid and tapping the connect button on your phone screen. When inserted, the Den noise cancelling earbuds are really comfortable. They're just small enough to avoid that feeling of having something wedged deep in your ears, yet they also provide a decent amount of surface contact with your outer ear to keep the buds from moving about. But the fit isn't secure enough to use them reliably during high-impact activities like running, although, with an IPX4 rating, they can certainly handle sweat and rain. They also have a tendency to work themselves loose when you talk, something that might prevent them from being ideal companions on long Zoom calls. During one recent video call, I found myself needing to readjust them multiple times. In another Apple-esque move. Den keeps things simple with the noise cancelling earbuds, all of the features are controlled from the buds themselves and there's no Den companion app for iOS or Android. On the one hand, there isn't much to learn. A single tap on the right earbud starts and stops your music, a double tap skips forward, and a triple tap skips backward. When a call comes in, a double tap on the right earbud answers the call, and a second double tap ends it. Meanwhile. Single taps on the left earbud switch the ANC mode from on to ambient, and then to off. But on the other hand, the lack of an app means no firmware updates, no echo or control customizations, and no advanced functions like fit tests or find my earbuds. The touch controls work really well, but it's very easy to trigger them accidentally when inserting the earbuds or adjusting them when in your ear. You get a quick feedback tone to let you know a tap was detected which takes the guesswork out of it, and reaction times are lightning fast. The noise-canceling earbuds are also equipped with wear sensors that can quickly and reliably pause and play your audio when you remove or reinsert them. To learn about the full set of controls, you need to download the user manual from Den's website. For some reason, the included quick start guide makes no mention of being able to reject calls or mute the microphone while on a call, both of which can be done. The only thing missing is a volume adjustment, and there's no way to switch between ANC and ambient mode without going through the off mode. But you do get access to your phone's assistant, and you can choose to use each earbud independently for calls and music. When you do, the play controls that are usually on the right earbud transfer to the left earbud when using just that side for, at the end of the day, 
Most of us want our earbuds to provide great sound quality above all else. And this is where the noise cancelling earbuds show their greatest strength. Den says it has employed its sound master tuning on these earbuds. I can't tell you exactly what that means, but I'll say this, they sound fantastic. Utterly clear throughout the full range of frequencies, and with a wonderfully wide and precise sound stage, they offer the same level of performance you'll find in true wireless earbuds that cost a lot more, like the excellent $230 Technic CAZ60. While it's true that there's no way to tweak the X settings either using the Buds or via an app, I wouldn't change a thing. Low end bass is punchy, yet warmly resonant, giving tracks like Hans Zimmer's time all of the depth they deserve, and there's enough mid-range detail that you can sink into a jazz standards by Miles Davis or the Dave Brubeck quartet and discover elements that lesser earbuds would obscure. As the name suggests, the Den noise cancelling earbuds have a hybrid ANC system, and it's very impressive. Variable sounds like traffic and background conversations are almost entirely eliminated, and droning, consistent sounds like fans, or other machine-based hums, are reduced to just a whisper. I put Den's ANC up against the very best, the Apple AirPods Pro, Bose QuietComfort Airbuds, and Sony WF-1000XM4, and it was almost impossible to tell the difference. The Denons produce a very slight hiss when you're not listening to music, and there's not much in the way of external sounds to cancel, but otherwise, they do an excellent job of keeping things nice and quiet. Transparency mode is almost as good, it lets a lot of ambient noise in, but doesn't quite erase the feeling of wearing earbuds the way the AirPods Pro can do. My only complaint, as I mentioned earlier, is the inability to toggle between ANC and transparency directly. Overall, calling on the Den noise cancelling earbuds is very good. External sounds are largely cancelled, and your voice will sound full, not thin and tinny, like it can with some earbuds. There were the occasional wobbles, as can happen with any earbuds, but I don't think your callers will be bothered by it. You can also engage transparency mode while on a call, which lets you hear more of everything, including your own voice, and really reduces call fatigue. If only the earbuds didn't have a habit of working themselves loose while you're talking, they'd be ideal. Den claims up to 4.8 hours per charge and 19 hours in total when you include the charging case and you've got ANC turned on. When ANC is off, this goes up to 6 and 24 hours respectively. That's about the same as the AirPods Pro, which is to say, not bad, enough for a full day, but nothing impressive by today's standards. I couldn't fully test these claims because the wear sensors can't be defeated, but based on the remaining battery life visible in my Google Pixel 5's control center, it looks pretty accurate. You get an audible low battery warning from the earbuds, but there's no fast charge option for topping up a nearly dead battery. Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is useful, then please give a like in this video and share with others. Bye for now.